Guys, I want to show you a very cool GNU plot workflow. So you may remember my earlier video when I was talking about Slock, and that prompted me to start my next video project. It's an epic thing, it's taking me a lot of time, where I'm basically slocking the code bases of all the major browsers, or all, all three of them. And do please have a look at this blog post because my findings are a little bit weird. But anyway, in the process of making and doing this stuff, I needed a tool to do some bar charts. I naturally gravitated to GNU Plot, GNU Plot, and I found working with GNU Plot very awkward with my little make files and my little scripts. I needed a better way. So I remember using Jupyter Notebooks and I then discovered this GNU plot kernel. So you install Jupyter Notebooks as, as normal, and then you install, you pip install, you pip install GNU plot kernel, and then inside your Jupyter Notebook, you should have an option, new notebook, GNU plot. So the project comes with um, some documentation or whatever, this is what it looks like. But in my experience, you put the first line as as that sort of percent sign GNU plot inline SVG. So that means that the, the results that you have there are SVG. You use this uh, percent percent shell to like grab your data down, and then you you work like this, and you and you your workflow is basically change something, um, blah, Control Enter, and you can see it immediately renders the plot. I think it's great. I, I, I don't know a better workflow for for uh, for doing graphs. Maybe maybe Jupyter Notebooks with pandas and some Python plotting library might be better. But I'm sticking to GNU plot because I think you guys are down with my, the GNU plot love. <laughs> you know, it's just an old school standalone tool. You don't need that complicated Python uh, tool chain to go with it. Though there, another thing to watch out for is like, for example, if I remove things, the, the state is a bit weird in Jupyter Notebooks. Like for example, I removed the title, I control enter, the title is still there. So the workaround, uh, I filed bugs. You can see I filed a couple of bugs or issues up here. You, you type reset and that makes sure the, the state is always reset. So now the title is gone with that reset key keyword. So I hope you'd like that sort of GNU plot workflow. I hope that inspires you to grab down some COVID data and start plotting it or something like that. Um, links in the description. Please like and subscribe and please have a look at this blog post because this is going to be very challenging to make a video out of because I'm just very confused. <laughs> Thanks again. Bye.